5 Awesome Manga That Was Never Adapted To Anime While we are watching for the latest anime episode to be released, we tend to read some awesome manga to pass time. Whether we are reading a few chapters ahead of the time that we are watching, or maybe an entirely different manga. And every once in a while while scrolling on the internet for a new manga that might pique your interest, you will come across some hidden gems. Those mangas that were created so well that you might think this will look so good once they have adapted it to anime. And after a few seconds of searching for it, you soon learn that the hidden gem that you found does not have any animation. Believe me, I know the feeling. We all probably have a list at the top of our head of those mangas that should be adapted to anime. Well, we have done our best to create a list of our own to share with everyone, just so we share the same frustration too. Here are 7 awesome manga that was never adapted to anime. Uyasumi Pun Pun Good night, Pun Pun. Let us start with a very controversial one, a seinen manga focusing on a very lovely boy, Pun Pun, and his adventures from a young age until he became a young adult. While the other characters were drawn in a very human-like feature, Pun Pun and his family are not. However, their bird form is actually for the sake of the readers. Pun Pun's family are actually seen as the humans by the other characters. The creators of the manga told that the drawing of Pun Pun's family is a metaphor given how their backstory is, and also for the readers to focus more on the story being told. The manga deals heavily with the real world, wherein you will see how the innocence of the main character was stripped away slowly as he experienced more in life and grew older. You will also notice his emotions were very connected to how he is drawn in every chapter, in every chapter of his life, and every time he is showing very strong emotion, you will see a different version of Pun Pun. This can also be the way of the creator in saying, this is how I see someone when they feel this way. I am a hero. Another hidden gem in this list is the creation of Kengo Hanazawa. The story follows a manga artist and his very dangerous adventure in modern Japan, filled with zombie-like people on steroids. While at first, he puts no real attention to a bystander walking with a broken neck after being hit by a car and to thinking that it was his imagination and fatigue running wild. The characters were drawn in very human-like features while the zombies were terrifying, especially on the colored pages. While the story is all about post-apocalyptic zombie survival, the manga also deals with the mental state of Hideo, the main protagonist. His disturbed state before the widespread of ZQN virus causes him to hallucinate horrific images which would really be a good scene if ever it is turned into an anime. The manga is already completed which means that you will be able to find a really good closure from a zombie story. The manga was so successful that it was put into translations to different languages and produce three spin-offs and an anthology series by other manga artists. Siren The next manga on the list deals with a very strange game, a game wherein a person will be brought into Siren, a wasteland filled with out-of-this-world monsters that you need to either kill or escape to to get back on your world. In the world of Siren, you will be able to use psychic abilities in various ways showing unique skill sets. The main protagonist got involved in this world by doing odd jobs for people. You can ask him to get rid of anything for the price of 10,000 yen. He was later offered 500 million yen just for uncovering the secrets of Siren. The story shows a very interesting and unique plot, a story of psychic powers, time travel, suppressed personalities, and a whole ton of destruction all squeezed into 16 volumes. You will soon get hooked on the development of the characters and their backstory. The way that the characters' skills and abilities were drawn as well as how devastating and terrifying the enemies are will give you goosebumps. 20th Century Boys Another bizarre manga that would make you feel frustrated for not having an anime adaptation, the manga that was created and released before the actual end of the 20th century, 1999. The story revolves around a book created by Kenji, the main protagonist and his friends in an empty field decades ago. As the main characters were heavily influenced by reading manga and the major events that happened in 1969-70, to 70, 
The book was filled with their fantasy as to how the world will end. After a few decades and the main characters were now adults, they noticed some incidents to be closely related to what they wrote in the book. Kenji soon confirmed what he had feared. The story written by him and his friends was turning into real events, and it is up to him to stop it and learn the mastermind behind it. While the fans have never seen any anime adaptation for this masterpiece, a three-part movie took its place sometime in 2008 to 2009. Vagabond The fifth manga on our list is arguably one of the best historical manga created. Look out for our future list of historical animes. The story is centered during the late Sengoku era and the rise of the Tokugawa Shogunate, whereas Shin Men Takazo before changing his name to Miyamoto Musashi was feared and called a demon by the people in his village when he was young. Join the army to find the Toyotomi, that is where he met his friend, and together they escaped and promised to do great with the rest of their lives. However, the character's nature always found itself in a pinch and he had to change his name to Miyamoto Musashi. Throughout his journey and battles, he only has one thing in his mind, to become the greatest swordsman. The story of a demon child hated by the villagers and his only goal is to get back his best friend and become the greatest swordsman ever. That sounds conveniently related to another character, a ninja with orange hair, but maybe it is just me. The manga that has made into our list is based on our personal criteria. We have the need to make the list of our favorite manga with no anime adaptation, yet I hope. I have very slim chance that this could gather more views that could later turn into a movement. A movement that will ignite the idea for the anime studios to take another garner at these mangas. Manga is another form of Japanese art that showcases the colorful imagination, artistry, and storytelling skills of our manga authors which should be given proper acknowledgement and respect. However, we still cannot deny the fact that the stories told in manga books and digital ones would look more awesome if they were adapted to anime. Was your favorite manga included on the list? If not, share it with us and tell everyone how good is the hidden gem that you found.